welcome. So I've been asked by a few of my students to go over a special kind of a limit question where you're given the graph of a function, f of x, and you need to find uh, various limits other than just the limit as x approaches some number of f of x. So I'm going to go over a specific kind of example here. Um, let me start by what would be sort of a straightforward, nice and simple question. So let's say I was asked to find the limit as x approaches 1 of just f of x. So this is the f of x that we have up here in the graph. And this would simply be a look at the graph. I would march along near 1, x equals 1, along the left-hand side, and I see that the y values approach negative 1. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side. A little bit low on the screen. There. From the left-hand side of f of x, that equals negative 1, the y value. And then as I approach from the right-hand side, I get the same value. The limit as x approaches 1 from the right-hand side of f of x, that's also negative 1. So since these two match from the left and from the right, we get an answer for the actual limit as x approaches 1. Now you might wonder, well, there's a hole here. What does that mean? That just means that if I wanted to find out f of 1, I can't use this whole value. I have to jump up top up here, and I would get 2. I'd use the closed-in circle. So this is an aside. This isn't the kind of limit problem this is. I just wanted to go back over how this, this new limit is going to be a little different than this straightforward looking at the graph, but not much, not much different. So let's take a look at part A. So part A is asking us to find the limit as x approaches 1 of f of 2x. And this 2x is in effect some other kind of function. It's a very simple function, g of x equals 2x. So that's why in the beginning on the cover sheet I referred to it as the composition of two functions. It's like f of g of x, where g of x is 2x. The only reason we're thinking about this as a function is I want to pay attention to the fact that as x approaches 1, I could plug in 1 straight into this. It's continuous. There's no problem with that. So as x approaches 1, we know that means 2x approaches 2. So this is really like saying as x approaches 2, what y value is f of x approaches? So as x approaches 2, what's the y value approaching? So now we're jumping over here, and as I go along the graph, pointing toward the value of x equals 2, we're getting a y value of 1. And if I go along the right side of the graph, as x approaches 2, I get a y value approaching 1. So in this case, the limit as x approaches 1 of f of 2x is 1 take another look. Well, let's take a look at another one. So the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x minus 1. So what we really want to do first is we want to find out as x approaches 2 that means x minus 1 is approaching 1. So as x approaches 1, what 
y value is f of x approaching. The value is f of x approaching. And if we look as x is approaching 1, we get the y approaching negative 1. So that means this limit here is approaching negative 1. So for part C, it's a similar kind of thing. As the limit as x approaches 3, of f of x, oops, sorry, f of 2x minus 5. So as x approaches 3, that means 2x minus 5, just plugging in 3, 2x minus 5 approaches 1. So we're looking for the limit as x approaches 1, x approaching 1 along the curve gives us a y value of negative 1 from both sides. So then the final one here, this is one of the questions that one of my students actually specifically asked about. So I have the limit as x approaches 0, uh, f of 4 plus x. And so as x approaches 0, I know 4 plus x approaches 4 plus 0, or 4. So I want to look for, as x approaches 4 along the curve, from the left-hand side, I will get 2. And then same, similarly, as x approaches 4 from the right side, I will also get the y value of 2. So my limit here is equal to 2. Hope this helps. Let me know if you've got any questions. Feel free to like or subscribe.